also good fighting. We're stuck. We're doing laundry. Hopefully it's for the last time that we have to do laundry at a laundry facility. And we made a bad call and we got stuck in the rain. So we're uh, truck bound in a gas station. Because we have laundry in the back. We don't want it to get soaked. But we're, we're stuck again. Hopefully they don't have to be here too much longer. Hopefully in about 30 minutes from now, hopefully it's gonna stop and we can get home and not worry about our clothes being soaked. So this has been a lovely evening. Uh, we got home from getting a couple of things done, had to go to Costco, we have to do laundry, and a storm hit. And um, I told my buddy, I asked him to shut the windows, he didn't realize that our front window in our living room was open. So, we got home to a pretty flooded living room. Um, our settee, which is our couch, has storage up underneath it. And we have all of our uh, food and some extra stuff underneath there. And there was probably a foot of water in there. So, uh, our couch was soaked. Uh, some books were soaked. Some electronics were soaked. It's like, yeah. Um, I'll show you the damage. So, we've gotten a lot cleaned up, but that's our settee, but as you can tell, we've got it lined up here, getting the air blowing on it, but you can see down in the bottom where it's still really wet, and up here, you can see the whole area up here where it's real wet. We had to pile everything up over here, we had to pile everything into the corner, but we went ahead and dried it out, got all the water out of it, put our canned food back, but this whole settee underneath was, you know, I mean, it had, oh, fuck, I wouldn't even be able to, a lot of water. So, we've got that fan going, we've got that fan going, trying to fix one of my books, at least dry it out. Um, got all kinds of stuff, just like blowing up and everywhere, so. giving you guys a just a walk through we have these 200 amp hour 12 volt which you can get them in 24 48 whatever uh, 200 amp hour lithium batteries here's the actual branding of them right there and I'm gonna leave a link in it so you guys can go right to it you can get them off of Amazon they're really nice we've got our links distributors or distributors I guess if you would we have our Servo GX, and we have our um, Victron Energy Display Unit. We also went ahead and installed a, um, a, color, a kill switch, essentially. Um, what we're doing this is, is correctly as possible, uh, so we don't have any issues later on. We're probably gonna get more of these batteries later on. Uh, we definitely want to. We've got, right there, we've got our uh, uh, autopilot, which is also utilized down here for, you know, just being able to adjust your autopilot and your rudder and whatnot so that you're going the direction you need to be going so it's all adjusted and honed correctly. But yeah, um, we've got more in the engine cavity, but in justification, this is the guts of our system right here. Um, I'm going to leave that link down below if you guys are interested in these lifetime batteries they're performing amazing um I, I give them a 10 out of 10 for an off-brand battery uh, they're under 700 dollars a piece which is phenomenally great uh, for a 200 amp hour lithium iron battery um i, I can't say enough about them uh it keeps our keeps everything in our house going on our boat uh all night all day and all night long uh with no solar hooked up to it again so pretty dang good. I can't complain. Anyways, see you guys.
música. Well, hang on. It's a TV wall mount. Uh, we're gonna be mounting our TV in the living room so that we no longer have to have it on our counter space. And we have more counter space to be able to utilize. So that is what I'm doing at the moment. Right now, I'm gonna be taking off this so that I can mount the bracket under the TV and mount this onto the wall without having the weight of everything all together. <clears throat> the directions say that they want that mounted vertically up, I believe. Yeah. Okay, so this is a washing machine that we bought for the boat. So I've got to get this bottom plate put on there. It's gonna go just like that. So let me get this all set up and show you guys what's up. All right, so this is our washing machine. This piece right here, I just figured out. This goes up in here, but this is just for shipment. So this, this has to come out. You're not supposed to use this. Not part of the washing machine. You got your drain hose and everything else. It has water in it from the testing it. So don't get worried or scared if you're wondering why there's water in the drain pipe. It's just from them testing out the washing machine. This thing is actually really nice. Down in here, so it's not big. I mean, if you look at my hand, it goes down quite quite a ways. It's a pretty big washing machine for what it is. It's called a Giantex. Uh, you got different settings on it. Uh, different settings, anywhere from. High, medium, low, uh, you've got your underwear, your wash bin, and then you've got normal, standard, and fast. Um, you've got your water levels, you can program it to the way you like it, but you know, it does it. It does fit quite a bit compared to what I thought it would, so I'm impressed there. We'll just see how it works. Love this little drill. Like 30 bucks at Walmart. <laughs> 
A lot of the competitors are really expensive. This one wasn't, and it works amazing. See, we've got a light, a light in the front, too. make these stickers like they do with the, the nice ones that I just took off. Now they gotta put these ones that leave a bunch of gunk and they tear when you try to take them off and and they know it's horrible stuff but yet they still do it. Yeah, it's just, we'll take it off later. So I'm gonna have to use alcohol to get the gunk off. Oh. Scratched it. Whoops. And it's more of a scratch. Yeah, it's a scratch. Or one that's colored from where we scratched it. Yeah, there we go. Let's get her in the bathroom. Ready? Yeah. This part goes up in there and you're like this. What you need to do is it goes up in here and you go. And back out. And you just follow what I'm doing. 